If you watch the channel regularly, you'll know that I bought this catamaran project for 2,000 euros almost a year ago now. The boat was 2,000 euros for a reason. In fact, you could argue that it could have been a free boat because of the amount of work that needs doing on it. One of the biggest problems with the boat was that it was left open to the elements. The windows in particular were left without screws in and any sealant, so water got in and the cabin tops were in a bit of a state. Another big thing on the port side of the boat, the holes for the chain plates, for the main cap shroud chain plates, were also left open, allowing that area to fill up with water. And a couple of months ago, I started excavating that area to find that it was not in a very good condition. So my idea was to just put some big backing plates in there. But after a lot of thinking and some advice, I've decided to make backing plates, which actually go to the bulkhead to give extra strength to that area. Last week you saw us make this template out of plywood and I welded for the first ever time. And this week we're gonna put those skills to the test and using scrap 316 stainless steel, we're gonna make two <laughs> of these super extra reinforced chain plate backing plates. Enjoy the video. So after getting sticker shock from looking at the prices of stainless steel in 5mm, uh, we're actually going to use the salvaged 316 stainless steel from Bass's lifeboat. We've got just about the right amount of material. This is from one plate. This came from a, the backing of a chair on the lifeboat and we've just cut out the pieces. It's 3mm stuff this, but we're going to double it up so it'll be 6mm. Dad's at work today, so I'll cut out the other sheet and then hopefully at the weekend we'll start to get these welded up and welded together. That is quite heavy, I would say about two kilos. So we've got all the separate pieces cut out. I came up yesterday and I practiced doubling up the metal and I've made this little sort of backing plate which is now six mil, doubling up the three mil that we got from the lifeboat. I welded it along the side and also used some plug welding. So there was a hole here on each side. I filled that with weld and grind it, ground it down. And we're basically gonna repeat this process for the rest of the chain plate backing plates. And they are gonna be pretty heavy, but very, very strong. Uh, they should weld together pretty easily and I think by the time I've done welding all this stuff up I'm going to be much better at welding. <laughs> So we've got the plates all lined up and everything, but to weld them around the edges, we're gonna to have to put a little 45 degree bevel so that we can sit the weld in 
in there and then we'll grind it down after uh, and it'll be one solid lump then. So the weld sits into the groove really well and it's uh, pretty easy to get a good bead. And also taking my uncle's advice, when I do stop, I start again over the weld. So there's a bit of a bump there, it just warms up the material, as you can see here as well. And it's looking pretty decent. Now I'll just fill these holes with weld and then we'll clean it up, grind it down and see how it looks. So in a day's work, we've welded together, sort of cleaned up this one, and I've literally just welded this up. And obviously we're gonna weld them together like this. Um, yes, Aston Villa win 3-2. <laughs> if you saw the last episode, you saw how expensive steel plate is, stainless steel plate, especially 316, which this stuff is. And yeah, obviously we've welded it together to save ourselves potentially thousands if you buy it new. But a lot of people suggested uh, going to a scrapyard. If we weren't going to double this up, that's probably that's probably what we would do. We could have also made them out of uh, just regular steel or galvanised. But yeah, we're making progress. It's quite labour intensive with all the grinding and the welding. But uh, yeah, they should come out all right. I'm a bit hesitant to show close-ups of this, but I probably have done already because it looks very rough and sketchy. But by the time they're finished, we'll polish them all up, clean them all up. Dad's gonna get some more discs, grinding discs, flap wheels, that sort of stuff, so that we can really tidy these things up. But these are definitely gonna be strong enough, definitely. Perhaps with this piece alone, it would be okay, but putting it to the bulkhead, and as long as we get a nice strong weld inside and on the outside, it's gonna be very strong. But yeah, I'm loving this welding. 
really pleased with how it's come out and yeah we'll come back tomorrow and make this one up probably and then maybe start with the other one um, but yeah it's good to get one done first so we know what we're doing It does bend, doesn't it, when you tack it? Well, when you like weld it. Yeah, it's just with heat and everything. Yeah. yeah. So we've just put a little, a few little tack welds in, and that's very strong already. <laughs> well, when you weld in an angle, uh, the metal bends towards the angle that you're welding. So I've put two on the inside, three little ones on the outside. And uh, uh, what, just keep tacking it until it doesn't bend so much, or will it always bend? Uh, I, I, I just put a um, just put a run in. Yeah. <laughs> my port side cap shroud chain plate backing plate obviously I did the back edge there you saw me weld that and then I'm putting a I didn't weld the whole side because as I was welding it was just sort of bending and uh, so I've just put four welds on the inside it is incredibly strong uh, I don't think strength uh, is going to be a problem in fact I don't think there's going to be any problems with these chain plates the only thing is the extra added weight but I'll just look at places where I can shed weight and try and keep the boat as light as possible. It's also pretty Salvador Dali on the edges, very Dali-esque, but uh, there's only so much precision you can get with an angle grinder. I'm pretty happy with this, we've just shined it up a little bit. Yeah, we'll do a bit more polishing and fine tuning, but we still have another one of these to make, the mirror image of this. 
uh, for the starboard side, which we'll do over the next few days, I think. Or I will, you'll be working probably. But yeah, I'm sure a lot of people will have uh, some criticisms and say I should have done it a different way, but I think that this is ample, more than good enough. And also I've learned so much. Uh, my inside welds were not, not the greatest looking, but still incredibly strong. Uh, good enough penetration, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Meters and meters of welding wire and umpteen grinding discs later, we have not one, Whoa. but two beastie chain plate backing plates made from recycled 316 stainless steel. We can polish these up a little bit better. We can fine tune them, but that is a very satisfying thing to look at. Two beastie back in place. Let's just hope they fit on the boat. <laughs> the next job is to work on the steering. So we've got this really cheap plastic steering wheel. I probably won't actually use, but we have this block of wood and it's a very simple and we're, we're gonna follow the, the design, the drawings of the boat. Essentially, we're gonna have a steering wheel that will go through this block of wood, or at least the shaft will, and we'll have some bushings and a drum here, which will is going to be rope steering. So I'm going to try and stick to an episode every two weeks until I get back to the boat. It's a little bit difficult to make content while I'm not at the boat, and we need to order all the bits and bobs, and we need to work on that. And then in two weeks, there'll be another video, so we'll look out for that. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on the video. I think because I've taken a break, and this always happens, if you do take a break from YouTube, uh, the algorithm can punish you a little bit. Uh, so, if you leave us a like, leave us a comment, uh, give us your advice, some of your thoughts, feelings, let it all out, <laughs> but be nice. <laughs> and yeah, that would really help me out a lot, so thank you very much for doing that. And yeah, thank you so, so much as always to the people, uh, my patrons, uh, Coffee, PayPal, thanks to you guys uh, who've given me super thanks on YouTube. Really, really appreciate that. It's uh, humbling and it's so, so generous of you to give in that way uh, to keep this project ticking along. I was also thinking about doing a cost video and going through how much I've spent, but because I've not been that great at keeping receipts, it might not be the most accurate cost video, but uh, I'm thinking about doing something like that before I go back to the boat. Let me know if you'd be interested in that video. Yeah, thanks again for watching. See you in two weeks time.